What's up guys, I'm Marcin from RossmoreTech.com and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to terminate or crimp a coax cable, a V connector using a compression tool. So let's get started. So this is the tools you're gonna to need. You're gonna need here, you're gonna need one of these uh, coax wire strippers. And uh, this is like a five bucks that I got on Amazon. And I'm gonna leave a link in this description if you guys are interested. This basically trims the cable down to the copper and I'll show you how that works in a second. I'm not gonna use these wire strippers in this tutorial, but it's always good to have a pair of these wire strippers just in case this uh, stripper doesn't get all the copper shielding off, we can use this. So I'm gonna leave this in the description. And I got this from Amazon and it's from Green Lee. And this is the Grip P10. I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the description. You're gonna need a compression tool. Uh, they have uh, good ones on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. But I got this one from Radio Shack. It's an ordinary crimping tool that crimps down the V connectors. This also crimps down the V and C connectors as well. And here we have from Radio Shack a couple of RG6 F connectors. These are compression connectors that we're going to use. And uh, these are pretty cool. These are very strong. And I'm going to leave a link to uh, this, if not this product, a similar product in Amazon. So you're going to need some of these. And finally, we're going to need our coax cable here. And I cut one end of the cable so we can demonstrate how this works. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is get down to the copper. And again, this tool here, this strips everything down to exactly the, uh, the width that you need it. And it's again, it's five bucks. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is take this end, pull it down, push the cable through, and you want to expose about a centimeter or two of the cable. Then you just push this end down. You twist this way a couple times. Then you twist this way a couple times. And that's it. And I'll show you how, how that works. So let's remove this jacket here. The shielding, and as you can see, it completely removed the shielding. It left a little piece that we're going to need later on, and it completely removed the shielding, exposing this copper cable. So that's why this uh, tool here is pretty neat. You're going to need one of these, and again, I'll leave the link in the description. So now that we got that done, now we're going to need to push back all these little flakes of metal. We, we got to make sure that this uh, flakes here, uh, they don't touch this here if that does happen then you're going to get a bad single. So now that that's done we're going to need to get our connector. And I'm going to open. This is one of the V connectors that I got from uh, Radio Shack. This is a compression connector and we're going to use this to place on top of our cable here. So all you have to do is put this in through. Make sure that the copper goes all the way through. And you're gonna keep pushing this down until the copper wire is about flush with this piece here, this metal top. So keep pushing down, keep twisting until it is flush. So now that you can see that the copper wire is sticking just a little bit out of the edge of this compression connector here, and that's exactly the way we want it. Once we got that to our desired length, now we're gonna take our compression tool here and, and we're going to take this end of the cable. We're going to make sure this goes all the way through, right? Once it goes through there, you're going to pull down. Then you're going to compress the connector onto the cable. All right, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, this is on there pretty snug. This is not going to move at all. It won't budge. I'm giving it a lot of uh, force and pressure here and it's not moving. And if you guys are going to be working with coax cables, I highly recommend you get a good compression tool with good V connectors, compression V connectors. And you should always have this uh, stripping tool for coax cables. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to all of these tools that I, I used in this tutorial. And that's pretty much it for this video. Now, if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Arson from RossMoreTech.com. Thanks for watching.